Can God create a rock too heavy for him to lift? Most of us have heard that question, uh, perhaps posed seriously or perhaps just posed as a sort of a, a brain teaser. But for some people, it really is quite a uh, an objection. It's a argument used by unbelievers to suggest that the Christian idea of God as an all-powerful being is incoherent, that it can't possibly be true because it contains within it logical uh, incompatibilities, impossibilities. And so because for some people this really is a compelling objection, it's worthwhile to stop a second and consider it. How should we answer the question whether God is able to create a rock too big for him to lift, or various other questions along those same, same lines, like uh, can God create a square circle, things like that. Well, these objections grow out of the Christian doctrine of what is called omnipotence, uh, which basically means that God is all-powerful. But whenever we get into particular doctrines with, you know, nice little <laughs> memorable Greek, uh, you know, titles, you know, omnipotence, omniscience, uh, omnipresence, you want to pause and, and rewind a little bit to remember that these doctrines, uh, if they are true at all, must have come from the Bible, from the self-revelation of God. So what does God say about himself that we then sort of concisely summarize under the heading of omnipotence or saying that he is all-powerful? Well, there's a variety of verses we could look to throughout the Old and New Testaments of the Bible, uh, but I think a couple of good ones to capture the essence of what God reveals about himself and what we therefore describe through the doctrine of omnipotence is uh, Daniel 4.35 uh, as one good example in which we are told, speaking of God, that he does according to his will in the hosts of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And no one can ward off his hand or say to him, what have you done? Speaking of himself in Isaiah 46.10, God says, My purposes will be established, and I will accomplish all my good pleasure. So what is being said here about God, here and many other verses, is that basically God can do whatever he wants, and there's no possible limitation of any other being or even a natural limitation. Like, for example, gravity limits me, or simply the, uh, the aging of my body ultimately will limit me in the uh, most absolute sense by, by ending my life. You know, those sorts of natural limitations don't apply to God, and there's nothing, no, nothing, no other being that could limit him either. So that's the idea behind uh, omnipotence, the doctrine of omnipotence that is being uh, questioned through this, this query as to whether God can create this unliftable stone that he can't, uh, can't move. Uh, well, once we understand that, let's bring it back to apply it now to this question. So, the fact that God is all-powerful does not mean that any sentence which begins with the words, God can, is necessarily true. You know, God can fill in the blank. M not necessarily. In fact, one category of things that God cannot do, uh, the Bible tells us God cannot sin. Now, that's a topic perhaps for another, another discussion, uh, because that goes back to God's nature, where he is holy, he's perfect, and therefore, since nothing else could compel him to sin, and he would not out of himself sin, we can say that he cannot sin. Uh, so that's, that's one category of things that if we say, you know, God can, say, God can lie, well, no, actually he can't. God cannot sin for that reason. But that's not the only way uh, that we can say that uh, God cannot do a certain kind of thing. And so this second category is what I like to call gibberish. If I say, God can flibberty gibbet. What does that mean? It's, it's, it's a noise, but there's no content attached to it. I've essentially said a meaningless thing, and attaching at the beginning, God can, doesn't make it meaningful, doesn't uh, mean God can do this thing, and it's not in any way to diminish God's being all-powerful to say, well, no, actually, God can't flibberty-gibbet, because really, we're not saying he can't so much as simply that 
flibberty gibbet is a, a meaningless phrase. It's an empty sound. And therefore, there's no it for us to be able to say that God can or can't do it. It's just we can't make that sort of assessment of a meaningless phrase. Well, flibberty gibbet or something like that is, ah, uh, you know, it's easy to see that's meaningless. But there's other less obviously meaningless uh, phrases as well, such as, for example, square circle. If somebody ever says to you, can God create a square circle? The simple answer is no, because square circle is a meaningless gibberish. Square, of course, is meaningful. Circle is meaningful. But put them together, and you're talking about two geometric shapes with opposite qualities. And you've taken then two meaningful things and combined them to make gibberish. Square circle is as gibberish as flibberty gibbet. And because it's gibberish, we can safely say that the sentence, God can create a square circle, is not true. In fact, it's not meaningful really at all. Uh, and that then brings us back to this question of whether God can create a rock that is too big for him to lift. Well, if, if we have a world in which there is an omnipotent God, a God who is all-powerful, uh, a being who can do whatever he desires, then that would mean, by definition, that within that reality, within that universe, that all natural things can have done to them whatever that omnipotent being desires built into the nature of a, a physical thing would be that it is subservient to this omnipotent being. And in fact, you can't have a physical thing which is outside the control of that omnipotent being if that omnipotent being is in fact omnipotent. And therefore, we can actually say confidently that God cannot uh, create a rock too big for him to lift. Because a rock too big for an omnipotent being to lift is gibberish. It's a meaningless idea. Uh, it's like a square circle. It's just something that uh, if, in fact, there's a universe in which there's a omnipotent being, then within that universe, everything would have to be uh, subject to the will of that being. And so just the idea of a rock too big for him to lift or, you know, uh, an ocean too vast for him to cross or whatever, uh, it just is incoherent. It's absurd. It's sort of like uh, to, to illustrate perhaps with another uh, example. If you think of uh, the Gospel of John, where we're told of the wedding at Cana, where uh, Jesus turned the water into wine. Well, when Jesus, in preparation for that miracle, was going to turn the water into wine, he told the servants to fill up these water pots full to the brim. Full to the brim. So Jesus is then sitting there, or standing, uh, looking at these water pots full to the brim of water. Now, because Jesus is God, he's all-powerful, he could, and in fact did, turn that water into wine. Something that I, I can't even conceive. How, how do you do that? Well, he's God. He can do that. What he couldn't do, but again, pause on that phrase, that's not quite the right phrase, but what he couldn't do is fill those water pots any more full. Because you, once a water pot is full, it's full. The idea of filling a full pot more full is, again, it's just a meaningless phrase. Uh, how, what, what, what are you thinking? What do you mean by that? Well, you don't mean anything. You're just saying words that have no content, that have no meaning. And therefore, again, we, we could say God, Jesus could not fill the water pot any more full. But really, that's not quite the right way to put it. When we say Jesus could not do it, again, there's, there's no it there. The idea of a water pot that is more full than full is just nonsense. It's gibberish. And therefore, Jesus couldn't. It's impossible. But really, just there's no it there. It is, it is meaningless noise. And so... Similarly, to go back to our, uh, our rock example, the idea of a rock, if there is an omnipotent God, which couldn't be moved by that omnipotent God, it's, it's just nonsense. There's no, uh, you know, there's, there's no uh, meaning attached to 
that set of words, a rock that an, that an omnipotent being couldn't move. Uh, it's, it's an absurdity. It's gibberish. And therefore, as long as we understand what we mean by it, we can safely say, no, even God cannot create a rock too big for God to lift.